Okay, today I'm going to show you how to connect to a Cisco switch with the help of a console cable. This is a Cisco switch and it has multiple fast Ethernet ports and usually depending upon the model of the switch usually at the back there's a similar connector that looks like this one RG45 but it is clearly marked as console. What you'll also need is this cable which is known as um, console cable and I'm on this website learningnetworkcisco.com and you can go to this website and uh, find out some uh, other important details. This is the RJ45 connector that would go back uh, go into the console port uh, that is usually is at the back and looks like this and this end would go onto the serial connector male serial connector onto your PC. Now most of the new PCs don't have a male serial connector so you might also want to buy a connector a male connector that has uh, USB on one end and a male serial connector on the other end and you can connect this to that uh, connector and you are now physically connected to a switch. Now what you also need is uh, a program like uh, Fiber Terminal or what I'm using right now is putty. So I'll go on to the serial connection and it's usually COM port 1 but check in your device manager what COM port uh, the computer is using but these are the settings you might have to change this uh, but it is usually COM port 1 this is the speed is 9600 data bits 8 stop bits 1 parity none and flow control none once you have opened that obviously I don't have a physical switch or a physical connector so I'm, I'll be using a simulator but once you open this okay once you are physically connected to your switch and then you have a terminal window open on your computer uh, and then you go and power your switch on you'll notice that a switch goes through something what is known as POST power on self test POST POST and once that's done uh, it will initialize flash and then you'll notice that these uh, these pound symbols are there and what they're representing that the iOS is being decompressed into the memory into the RAM okay and once that's done it will come up with a number of other information the model of this switch the software version 12.2 in this case and then copyright information and uh, the number of fast Ethernet ports and uh, gigabit ports if there are any uh, eventually uh, you'll have this message press return to get started and once you press enter you have this prompt uh, and you are connected to your switch with the help of a console port.